welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Life Straw Flex, a rather new water filter from Life Straw. I wanted to show you this. This is something I found new from Life Straw. I had not seen it previously. It is the Life Straw Flex, and it's still a, you know, kind of similar to the Sawyer type filters where you have a bag that you're squeezing down. The first thing you'll notice is the bag on this. It's kind of unique and different. It's uh, more of a rubbery kind of feel to it instead of that crinkly plastic. I suspect it'll hold up a lot longer, but um, I actually like it. And it's not a slippery at all. It's not slippery at all. It's kind of textured, so when you get it wet, it won't slide out of your hands. So what comes in the package is basically three things. You get the bag, you get the two-stage filter, and the back flush syringe. And to start using this, the only instructions I saw were basically to open up this, which opens up on either end. You'll open up on either end and wet it down inside. So this has been soaked inside and it's ready to use. Now what's different about this? Well, it's kind of got next level protection against heavy metals including uh, lead and it also takes care of bacteria, parasites and microplastics and organic chemical matter from pesticides and herbicides. Now we're used to seeing filters take care of the organic stuff and bacteria. We're not used to seeing these kind of filters take care of heavy metals. Now when I say heavy metals, no, it won't remove Black Sabbath and Megadeth from your water. <laughs> heavy metals are pretty much mercury, cadmium, arsenic, chromium, thallium, and lead. Stuff like that you do not want to be drinking. So if you live in an area where you know the water is possibly contaminated with that kind of stuff, this just makes sense. Now it's got two filters. It's got the carbon filter up top, which I just showed you when I opened. I'll show you again quickly. That's your carbon activated filter. And... That reduces the chlorine, the lead, the heavy metals, bad taste, odor, all that stuff. And then you have the ever popular two-stage, whoops, I'm dripping water out of there, hollow, fil uh, hollow membrane filter, hollow fiber membrane. If I could just speak this morning, it'd be really cool. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. That's how you start using it. It's uh, rather lightweight, weighs 3.15 ounces. Now I suspect after you back flush it, wash it, use it, the water in here is going to make it feel like it's a little heavier. It does feel a little heavier. But still, pretty light for a water filter system. Sure beats for carrying a filter, a pump, a hose, and all that other stuff. Uh, you can use directly with a straw filter. It has five different ways of use. You can use, directly, you can use this directly as a straw filter. So you can stick this in a water, a water source and suck through the top and it's fine. You can attach it to a hydration bladder. So thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is the STKR FlexFit Headlamp Pro. So these guys reached out to me and said, do you want to check out one of our headlamps? And you know, honestly, I've seen a ton of headlamps and flashlights over the years. This one just looked unique. And so I thought, yeah, let me check it out. Um, 650 lumens, max output. You have a light here. You have two lights here. You also have a light in the back. These lights can be um, just normal white LEDs or they can also be red and then this is your spot and these are really your flood. The thing that makes this one kind of stand out to me, a couple things. One is that um, you don't have in, like a clicking articulating spotlight just because of the material that it's made with you basically bend it forward or bend it back however you want to set it up so you can point it down, you can point it up. Obviously you can see there's the material that goes up against your head. Um, the other thing is this flood, let me just turn on the flood real quick. This flood for a headlamp is the most I've ever seen that really goes out this way. Let me double check. I think they said like 240 degrees. Yeah, so 240 degrees out. So you can get a headlamp that has a nice flood, but this one really, I mean, 240 degrees is a lot. And then with the spot as well, you can mix those two things together. So the way it works is you got your two buttons here. The top one is for your spot. So I'm going to turn that on. When I hold it down, you're going to see it's going to do the infinity loop down, flash, infinity loop up, flash, infinity loop down. Click it again, goes off. Same thing for the flood here, so turn that on, hold it down, down, flash, up, flash, down. Click it, it's gonna go off. You have the light in the back here, here's your button on the bottom, so click it once, and the light's gonna be steady on. Click it again, it's gonna be flashing. Click it a third time, it's steady on, and then it also puts these on in the front in the red flood, and then click it again, and it goes off. So yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty, pretty unique. Um, it does have a battery pack in the back. All right guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. 
Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new canister stove that I got. It is the Jet Boil Mighty Mo. This is a initial kind of overlook and look at this particular stove. I have not used it in the field yet, but let's face it, it is a stove so we can take a good look at it. We can boil some water with it and we can see how it performs. Now this is what you get in the kit. Okay, you get this little carrying case, nice orange. You get a little stand that you can put your propane on and then you get the stove itself, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is take a look at each of these components and weigh them. Okay, so let's start with just the sack. It weighs 3 eighths of an ounce or nine grams. The stand weighs 7 eighths of an ounce or 26 grams and the stove itself weighs 3.3 eighths ounces, so three and a half ounces, and 96 grams. So you add all that together, and you should get four and a half ounces, four and five eighths ounces, or 132 grams. All right, so we're gonna see here that um, this is how the stand works. You can see it just kind of pops onto the bottom of your canister. Like most of these stoves, uh, you just screw this on. I have noticed that some of these stoves seem to leak a lot of gas when you first put them on. This one does not leak any gas whatsoever. Uh, I'm not sure if I know why some do and some don't. Um, you fold out the legs just like this. You can see how easily they fold out. And around here, or right in front here, is the piezo igniter. Okay, you just turn this on. All right, so we'll talk a little bit about this stove. Now, of course, it is a jet ball product, like I said. It is pretty much in competition with the MSR Pocket Rocket. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. This is actually what I'm reviewing today is from Generarc, and it's a portable battery solution. Living in Los Angeles, we had blackouts, but they were few and far between. You know, usually it was, you know, the internet was down for a few hours, the power would go out, just flip the switch and it's back on. It wasn't really a big deal. Matter of fact, I think the longest time we had without power in Los Angeles was about. Now, the one thing I love about this is I've actually had other portable batteries that I've tested. I won't name any brands because I don't want to throw them under the bus, but specifically Generic's design is, is really, it's just really nice. It feels solid, really, really comfortable. feels like all the parts are just in where they're supposed to be. It doesn't feel janky at all. That's what I really loved about the first impression. By the way, I already unboxed this before. This is for you guys, this is for the effect. I've already seen the product, I've already tested the product. I just wanted you guys to see what's inside. So as you can see, the Generarc logo. And then of course, we've got all of the inputs and outputs. One thing I love is that they're, you know, they've went ahead and did the USB-C, which I think is such a big deal because there's not a product I own now that doesn't come with a USB-C uh, plug-in, you know? Also, you know, of course, they got the quick charge USB. They've got multiple, sorry, two, US, uh, two USB-Cs. I should have mentioned that. They've got the quick charge USB, another USB port. They've got the 12 volt direct plug-in. You know, they've got the, the typical, you know, outlets here. And then what I love too, is that they have the display. So you see, I turned that on and right out of the box, even though I use it a little bit, it's got three bars. I believe this goes up to five bars and it even says 45%. But as I press the display, it'll say input, output, and how much wattage is being used. It's nice to see what's going on here. You just press the display button and that's it. So I know that wasn't the most exciting unboxing, right? Because it wasn't like I was pulling out all these, these doodads and gadgets and what's up, because it's literally pretty straightforward. It's a portable battery, here it is. This is what you carry with you. It's really not that heavy. I know I look like I lugged it out of the box, but to be honest with you, I'm a little tired, which is why I was saying like it's heavy, but it's really not that heavy. Now, what I wanted to do though, is I wanted to give you some more details. Uh, I'm just actually gonna read off the Generarc website, just rather than me holding a pamphlet. I didn't memorize everything. I'm not reading a script or anything like that. Uh, but a couple things I wanted to note that I think is important for you that maybe you Googled and you wanted to see someone review this product. Uh, one of the things I wanted to point out is that the, every unit, specifically what Generarc mentions on their website, is every unit goes through a 52 reliability and safety test. So that's really nice to know. I think that's important to know that they stress test their products. Uh, even better though, it comes with a five-year warranty, which is pretty, would you say it's unheard of? I think it's unheard of. I feel like traditionally you get like, you know, the traditional year, sometimes two years. Five years though, I think that's pretty solid. You know, I think one thing to note that I think is is very cool to know, um, especially if you're going out camping, I think people wanna know this, is their powerful, how powerful the output is. And as I showed you before, they had three AC outlets, you can see right here, 
and they support 1,000 watts rated power and 2,000 watts surge power at 110 volts. So I think that's good to know because uh, I think a lot of people would take this maybe to, uh, you know, let's say. All right, until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace. So hey, how's it going? Uh, and I just want to make a quick uh, review of something that I picked up. A portable solar camp shower, and it's just a water bladder. Um, I bought the five gallon water bladder or shower, and it's made by Summer Shower. I picked it up off of Amazon. I think it was around, it was just under $30 with tax and everything. And um, yeah, so they have uh, smaller sizes, um, which I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's like a two and a half gallon, um, and then maybe like a three gallon. This is the largest one, is the five gallon. Um, you may be asking yourself, is five gallons enough to take a shower with? And the answer to that is yes, it's plenty for me to take a shower with. I've used it close to a dozen times, and I always have extra water left over. And um, I probably take maybe upwards of, I don't know, eight to ten minute showers with it. So the water does come out kind of slowly, so it helps conserve the water. And um, another question you may be asking is, does it get hot enough? And that was something I was worried about too um, when I ordered it, is whether or not it really heats up to where it's comfortably hot for me to use. And the answer to that is yes, it definitely gets hot enough. There's times where I had to let it sit in the shade for 15 minutes or so to let it cool down before I could use it because it was just so um, uncomfortably hot. Uh, let me kind of go over the front here, um, start with the top. You see there's a rope attached to it, and I use that because when it is full of water, um, five gallons is pretty heavy. And so what I do is I, I throw that rope over a crossbar that I have in an outdoor shower I made, and then I hoist it up with that rope. So it kind of helps take... Um, some of the tension off my shoulders when I'm trying to lift it up and snap it onto that crossbar, which takes me to my next point is this handle is really cool in that it snaps apart. It opens up so you can snap it onto virtually anything. Um, you could snap it onto a uh, like a hatchback of a car, um, you know, anything really that has the ability to, to tie something to it, and um, you can take a shower there. So uh, pretty cool. And this is where uh, this is the cap you'd unscrew to, to fill it up. Everything's really durable. It's very thick and. Um, you know, I lay it out here, I just have to make sure that I'm not laying on any pokey things or anything that would poke a hole in it, but it is it is very durable. Um, this is a little pocket that comes um, attached to it, and it's like a pocket for, you know, like a bar of soap, some shampoo, razors, whatever you want to put in here. And it also came with a little mirror that's attached to it. Uh, it's a little wet right now, but... Um, below here are some Velcro straps that, you know, if you wanted to attach it, um, just to help secure it to something so it doesn't kind of move around you. When you're taking a shower and you're pulling on this hose, um, as you're trying to like wash your hair or something, the um, shower does kind of rotate around on you. So these would be good if you wanted to latch it, but it's not really necessary. So this is the actual hose, and the water actually comes out of this line. And all you do is you pull it apart like that, and the water shoots out of there. And it is a little bit slow. There's not a lot of water pressure because it's gravity fed. Um, but it, like I said, it does help you conserve the water. So, so this is the front side of it, as I would say. Um, this is not the side that collects the sunlight and heats up your your uh, shower and this is the side that does that so you always want to lay it with this side facing up and um, it's just clear are you looking for a camping chair that's easy to put together and take down that doesn't take up a lot of space when you're traveling and is really comfortable then i may have just the product for you in this episode of it's the nemo deluxe stargazer chair that you see right behind me now, there are a lot of reasons to love this chair, and I'm going to show you exactly what those reasons are. But above all, the number one reason in mine, it's a small footprint, and number two, it is comfortable. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like when it's in its carrying case. Here is the carrying case that comes with your Nemo Deluxe Stargazer chair. Nemo includes these carrying cases and quite frankly the case alone is impressive. It is padded on three sides and on one side it is mesh which is going to allow your chair inside to breathe if you end up putting it away wet. It also comes with this really nice carrying handle so you can tote your chair around. So what is the size on this? Roughly 23 inches long, 7 inches wide, 7 inches up and down. It's a lot smaller, you can toss it just about anywhere when you're packing. It'll actually fit in the outdoor storage of our tiny teardrop trailer. And um, it's lightweight. With the case and the chair, a little over seven pounds. Without the case, the chair itself is weighing in a little over six pounds. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now one of my concerns with this chair originally was, 
how hard is it going to be to actually put it together and, and take it apart. And I'm going to show you exactly how easy this actually is. But before we get to that, notice the detail that Nemo takes in making just the case. Not only is this padded, they've actually built in a little pocket here that you can put things in if you want to, including if you want to take your rubber feet off for any reason, you could store those right there. Now, if you're not familiar with Nemo as a manufacturer, they are actually in the outdoor backpacking category, and we own a Nemo tent, which is absolutely phenomenal. They make high quality gear and they have excellent customer service. One of the nice features of our tent and this chair is they go ahead and put the instructions for how to use their products on the inside of their in this case, the case, and it's always, it's sewn right in so you don't lose it, which I think is a real plus. There's gonna be two parts to this chair. First, we have to assemble the frame, then we'll put the chair itself onto the frame. But let me show you just how quick and easy it is at the bottom. And I love how they put these big rubber caps on the bottom of each foot so that you can actually place this chair just about anywhere. Whether you wanna take it down to the beach and put it on the sand, or if you wanna put it on a rocky area or right here in the grass, it, it works really well. Now, all I have to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my frame down on the ground. The second part of this is we're going to take out the actual sitting portion of the chair. Hello YouTube. We went with a legit camping hammock. This is a double nest hammock. Um, it comes with the uh, slings, it comes with um, the tree savers. I'm going to put it on this tree and this little tree over here and uh, set it up real quick and uh, go from there and see how it comes out, show you guys um, what it looks like, and we'll go from there, all right? So let's take this out of its stuff sack. Well, let's put the tree huggers on first, then we'll take it out of the stuff sack and go from there. And it comes with uh, two of these legit camping uh, tree savers. So these are just the kind that you, um, you put on, and they got a, couple knots there so that you can put it on. You're going to like this thinner tree. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.